Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So this video is going to be a bit of a life update slash channel update. A um, couple big changes happening in my life in the next two months. And so I thought I would let you guys know the vision of the channel, where we're going. And, um, you know, just share a bit more with you guys, I guess. Also, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, join the family. Check out the rest of my videos as well. There's a lot of variety there, so I'm sure you'll find something that will really bless you. Um, and yeah, let's go straight into the video. Okay, so um, what's going on with you, Yanks? What's going on with you? Okay, so I just finished my exams, praise the Lord. Oh, God is actually so faithful if I tell you if I tell you the struggles and if I tell you like how many times because the education system over here in NUS is crazy like it's so intense um, now I know why Asians are so smart and why they're so academic because they are pushed they are really really pushed but God has been so faithful like he helped me out so much gave me so much wisdom answered my prayers answered the prayers of my friends answered the prayers of my family honestly my exams went really well and um, now I'm just waiting for my results which are coming out in a couple of weeks from now so yeah that's really good finished my exams finished third year praise God one more year left of my degree and then I graduate by his grace and now I'm really just packing, you know, coming to the end of my year abroad. I'm going to do a reflection on that later because I literally have to take some time to just process and digest everything God has taught me because there's been so much, so many lessons, so much growth, so much um, teaching, chastisement, so much that God has taught me. And I think I will save the end of your reflection for when I'm back in the UK. Um, but yeah, one of the things I will share, just as a little teaser, I think maybe, that God has taught me is patience. <laughs> patience, I'm waiting on the Lord, honestly. Patience, not only with God, but also with other people. Um, he's taught me patience a lot this year, and he's really been sort of chipping away at bits of me where I've been irritable, where I've been impatient, where I've been hasty and all of that sort of stuff. So that's definitely one of the lessons I've learned in this year abroad. Um, but yeah, so now I'm literally just packing my stuff. Like, it's sad because this has been my home for a year. Looking around, like I'm taking down all the posters from the walls and everything's starting to look a bit more bare and um, I'm packing also for my mission trip. So yes. most of you will know already that I'm going on a mission trip to Cambodia, which is in just under two weeks, on the 24th of May to the 20th of June. And wow, I'm so excited. And I think, yeah, I'm not gonna film any YouTube videos until probably when I'm back in the UK, because I feel as though this time, God really wants me to just be still and be quiet and listen to what he has to say to me and how he wants to use me while I'm out in Cambodia. So just for me to focus, um, you can still get in touch with me probably on social media like Twitter or Facebook or email as I will probably check my email or Twitter maybe weekly or so. But mostly while I'm out in Cambodia, it's just gonna be focusing on mission. And um, yeah, something I'm really, really excited for. So much preparation for that. And oh, keep me in your prayers, guys. Lord, prayers for unity, prayers for um, open hearts, prayers for open doors, prayers for boldness to speak. And just pray for me and my team. Like, honestly, your prayers. I know God hears your prayers. Like, God is a God who answers prayers. So any prayer you can just utter to God for my team, for my mission trip, honestly, I will be forever grateful to you. While I'm out in Cambodia, I will take a lot of photos, I'll do some videos, I'll do some vlogs, I may do some dare diaries and, you know, some opening up and reflection on how I'm feeling. Um, because I know it's not going to be all rosy and it's not going to be all bright and everything every day, like firefighter for Jesus. Um, so I'll just try and show you guys a bit of the real parts and then I'll compile that when I get back and have like a movie or something for the mission trip to Cambodia because I really would like you guys to experience it as well and hopefully encourage you guys that maybe you should consider missions in the future of course where you are is a mission field but you know literally going out and just serving giving your time in your summer or whatever to serve God and share the gospel um, yeah I think it's a really good thing and something that's going to develop me a lot in my character 
Um, so yeah, that's the mission trip. And then I'm coming back to UK. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. Guys, guys, I'm excited to come home. You know, I've told a lot of my friends this, that, you know, Singapore has been amazing. I would do it again in a heartbeat, but the season is coming to an end. I'm really excited to come back home, like to see my family, to see my friends in the flesh. Like it's been a lot of Skype, Skype, FaceTime, call, whatever. But you know, in the flesh, actually being able to hold people, hug people, meet up with people, it's gonna really, it's gonna really be great. I can't wait to do it. I'll be back in the UK on the 1st of July. So I'll probably have a video up mid July, around that time, depending on how settled I get and whatnot. Um, and also, I'm also gonna be 21 in July, which is exciting as well. A lot is happening, you know, like, there's some things that I feel like God is calling me to do and God is calling me to move away from and take on as I go into the age of 21. And I guess it's just trusting in God to see how those things pan out and where those things go. Like one of them, I would say, being more, more accepting and embracing more of my natural beauty. Like, this could be a whole video as well. Maybe I'll just stop there and say that. But yeah, there's just so much that God is really trying to trying to work in me and trying to show me and teach me about who he's made me and and how I should live literally each day. A little bit of a channel update. Um, so there are some exciting things coming up for Beloved Always by the grace of God. He's given me some ideas for some things to do. And one of these things is a series which will start, I'm not sure when actually, um, I'm still going through the readings and prayer basically seeing how God wants me to execute it and stuff like that um, but that series is going to be on godliness and that's going to really focus on the branch of the channel that is about holiness you know and you know how living godly as a woman in the 21st century so that's going to be like probably a six part series and I will finally be able to get people to feature on my channel because you know you guys have seen a lot of me 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 but no i really want to going forward to have some people on the channel as well who can shed some light on the issues which i believe that god has really given me a burden for and i think that's where that series comes into play so look out for that um sometime soon that should be really good probably by the end of the year or early next year autumn winter sort of timing um and then also Another thing that I've got coming up, but I think I might keep that as a surprise actually. Is there anything else I wanted to share? Oh, something I almost forgot. We're coming up to a year on Beloved Always. In July, not only is July the 5th my birthday, but it's also gonna be the one year anniversary of this channel. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do for it, but there will be something, so watch out for that. It's a bit of a farewell to July, which is, I know it's only in two months, but I think it's quite a long time to be away from um, any sort of social media platform, especially since I, I think I upload probably like every week or every other week. So um, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys, honestly. Um, I'm learning so much from you. Even though you guys may think I'm the one giving, I'm receiving so much from you guys. When you challenge me with your questions, when you challenge me with your emails, when you ask me questions, it really forces me to actually consider what God is saying on the matter. And it forces me to really, you know, um, speak God's words to you guys. And it's just so encouraging, really, having this sort of a platform slash family. Like, I never think I expected it to be what it was when I started it. You know, I'm going to save this. I feel like... I'm I feel like I can really talk. I'll do like a huge shout out um, when I come back to the UK and I do like my year anniversary sort of video. But um, thank you guys so much. Honestly, I really appreciate you guys. My prayers are with you. I love you guys, honestly, with like, with God's love. Like God is really giving me a burden for some of you who contact me, who email me, who message, who comment. Like I've made some great connections with people and um, I just pray that we continue to give to one another, love one another, encourage and start one another in love and good works and that you continue to be blessed by what, what God is doing um, 
through this channel so yeah that's really all i wanted to share with you guys in terms of like a life update slash channel update i will be back in july so have a wonderful may and june take care god bless you all and i will see you very very soon